top of some cauliflower rice. Doesn't that look amazing? We have a side salad of arugula, tomatoes, Italian dressing, and some salad seasoning. And we are drinking the Wicked Blue Citrus Flavor Water. Yummy, freaking delicious. Who wants a yummy bite? Gorgeous. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. It looks absolutely amazing, and it smells even better. Y'all, we are drinking Wicked Blue Citrus Flavored Water today. Ah, uh -huh. yes, y'all. Mmm, mmm. Delicious. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Happy Saturday. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Marry me chicken, y'all. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Yummy delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Those sun-dried tomatoes. Oh my God. They give off so much flavor. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Who loves marry me chicken? You can make this in so many ways. You can do it with chicken breast. When you can do it with any part of the chicken, honestly. Mmm. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. <laughs> mm. Everything. Oh! Are you kidding me? Am I going to eat the skin? Uh -uh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. I put mushrooms in mine. I haven't seen nobody put mushrooms in their Mary chicken. But I need to use these mushrooms, okay? Mmm. <laughs> My goodness. Yum. <laughs> it ain't gonna take me long at all <laughs> to eat this up. I swear, legs, they don't have that much meat on. I honestly feel like I can eat five of these. <laughs> I only gave myself three, though. Y'all air fried this chicken. Mm-hmm. Air fried it so I wouldn't have to worry about it cooking in the pot. It was easier. It was faster. Mm. I'm so glad I did it this way.
Mm. Let's get some of these good old veggies. Mm-hmm. Oh, that salad seasoning is good. Yum. My first time putting it on my salad. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, I like that. I usually don't season my salad, but I was like, let me try something different today. And so, mmm. 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 I'm gonna start doing that now. I usually like my salads with just the salad, the dressing, and maybe some black pepper. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Delicious. Shout out to my girl for requesting Marry Me Chicken. Thank you so much, girl. Mm. Who was it? Was it uh, E. Troy? I think that's who it was. If it wasn't, please forgive me. Y'all know I'd be forgiven. But I think it was E. Troy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I swear they better eat today. <laughs> they better eat today because this is literal perfection. Perfection. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I got to rearrange everything. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Are y'all happy it's the weekend? Oh my gosh, y'all, I cannot wait for the eclipse. Like, so, like, people been saying so much about what's going to happen on the 8th. And I honestly, I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. To see if all these people are right. Somebody predicted on Friday, which is today, that New York was going to have a freaking earthquake, y'all. And they did. I was shocked. I'm like, and do y'all think it has anything to do with the eclipse? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me know. Like, I I still don't, like, I mean, do they think something destructive is going Like, I just don't know what's going on, y'all. I don't honestly understand what people are even talking about. Um... Mm, but I heard that when the moon passes over the sun, it like gets dark. Like um, the flowers and stuff are gonna like they say they're gonna wilt or they're gonna like um, draw up or something. I don't know, but but they said it's because they're looking for the sun. And oh my god, like I can't freaking wait. Dallas is going to get it, like, head on. They didn't say nothing about Houston, but we right here by Dallas. So, mmm. Hopefully, we're going to be able to see it. Like, it's impossible for us not to be able to see it. Mmm. Y'all got y'all glasses? Because y'all know y'all can't go outside without glasses or you're going to, um... Have blurry vision or blind one of those, y'all. So make sure y'all don't look at it without those special glasses that you're supposed to have. Mmm. Y'all, this is the last piece of chicken, and I do not feel myself full. <laughs> I might have to go get me another piece, girl. Or no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, what y'all eating? What y'all what y'all gonna be cooking? Is this like a special day for people? Um, on the eighth, what y'all gonna be cooking? I surely don't know. Mmm. 
What y'all want me to cook on the 8th? When is the 8th anyway? Let's see. The 8th is next Wednesday. Wait a minute. Wait, no, it's not. I'm on the wrong month. What are we in, April? The 8th is Monday. This Monday. Okay. I thought I had somewhere to be. No, it's not. That's next Wednesday. Um, I got therapy again on next Wednesday. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. I want to make sure I eat all of my greens. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Y'all heard about that officer in Florida that stopped this man because his license was suspended, right? Anyway, she ended up taking him in um, under DUI charges, I believe it is. I know y'all don't heard about the story because it's on the news and everything. Anyway, this officer um, handcuffs him after he, like a crazy person, then told her that he had just came from, uh, I believe, some type of a bar. Um, and told her that he had a couple of drinks. Like, who, like, what? And she says, uh, can I, uh, uh, do one of those, uh, uh, drinking tests on you, a field sobriety, whatever. And he was like, no, he refused it, right? But you done already told her that you had a couple of drinks. Y'all, please don't ever tell the police that you've had a couple of drinks. Let them figure that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't tell them. Um... So, she puts him in handcuffs because his license is suspended. And that's all she needs. So, she puts him in the car. She goes to his car. Finds a liquor bottle, right? That was unopened. So, he could have that in his car because it was unopened, right? She gets the liquor bottle, opens it. On her dash cam, right, opens it, um, and uh, you can hear the, the the clicking of the opening of the top, right? So we all knew that it was sealed, closed. It wasn't an opened liquor bottle. She opens it, click, click, pours it out on the uh, uh, sidewalk or wherever the hell they were, pours it out, and then throws it back in his seat. Y'all, I swear, police officers, they be doing the absolute most. First of all, she just made him that charge. She just, like, she just, she just made the evidence because there was no evidence. Um, and, um, uh, when they, re when her and her partners realized that, um, uh, I may not be telling the entire story, y'all, but I'm just giving y'all the gist. When her and her partners realized that their dash cams were still on, they cut them off, right? Y'all. But remember, we're still we're in Florida. Excuse me. So, uh, what happened? Of course, you taste them, man. Um, for a DUI. And I don't know what else, but when she's telling her partners, though, what happened, she's telling them that, um, that there was an open bottle of liquor. Not that she opened the motherfucker, okay? <laughs> it just makes me so mad. Um, she said she found it open and, um, and that it, and it was tossed in the seat like she didn't toss it in the freaking seat. Yeah, I'm about to cuss. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway, there's a whole trial, y'all. He had went and he got a lawyer, 
And the lawyer tried to get it dismissed because of the circumstances, right? And the judge said, no, honey, it's going to try. He said he wants a, a jury to um, figure out, you know what I'm saying, if he's guilty or not. And, and I don't know what's going to happen with the jury in Florida. Like, who knows what's going to happen? To me, it was cut and, cut and dry. The daggone judge should have nipped that in the bud and dismissed it straight up. Because, you, like, how y'all going get, to get past the officer opening the bottle of liquor and pouring it out? That's why it was open, because she opened it. It wasn't opened. <laughs> so annoying. Mmm. And let me ask y'all about this. Like, <laughs> this is why I don't have freaking friends. Because they, oh my God, sometimes people are so just unnecessary and just oh I don't want to say evil but sometimes what the stuff people do it is evil mm. it was this girl on TikTok um I'm not gonna tell y'all her name y'all might know who I'm talking about but anyway she made a video uh talking about um this girl that she knows um, I was under the impression that they were friends, right? But come to find out, they were like mutuals on TikTok. So basically, what they do is, um, is, uh, like watch each other's videos, comment, like, and all that type. Basically, they're supporting each other on TikTok. Um, they've never met, and they're not technically friends. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... Um, she found out that, uh, the young lady, um, was selling a course or whatever, an ebook, okay? Y'all know everybody is doing ebooks. Um, she was like, oh, good. Let me buy one, you know what I'm saying? I may not be telling y'all the story, like, I'm giving y'all the gist, okay? Um... She was like, oh, good. Let me let me um buy one, right? She bought it. Then she gets on the internet and starts talking about this girl's course, how it it wasn't nothing, how she felt like she got, got scammed and all of this stuff, just talking about this girl's course, right? Now, if that were me and that was my mutual, we watched each other's stuff, we comment on each other's stuff, you know, supporting each other. I would have never went and made a video about her livelihood, her business. You know what I'm saying? I would have went directly to her and been like, um, girl, this what you selling? Oh, however it needed to be said. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just let her know what it really didn't help me. It didn't help me out. Um. And maybe you need to do this, that, and this. You know? But she went to the internet and told the internet how bad this girl's ebook was. Talking about um, all it was uh, was full of links that you had to click on. It wasn't like um, um, anything that you could read. And it just so happened um, that she had already had an ebook and she was like, um, my ebook is something that you can read. And you know what I'm saying? Not saying that she was trying to plug her ebook while she was trashing somebody else's, but that's what happened. Okay. That's just what happened. Um, I just was like, oh my God, like that really put a bad taste in my mouth. And I commented on her video y'all. And I don't usually do that. But I come in and I was like, why couldn't you just contact her directly and tell her that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why you couldn't contact her? And thank God she didn't tell everybody this girl's name and all that stuff. But it's just like, the girl follows you. She's going to see the video. You don't care? It's, it's that type of stuff, y'all. It's that, like, that I do not want to deal with. 
I, I, I won't deal with it. I'm too old for that. It's just like, oh my God. I couldn't even believe it. And when she answered back to me, she, um, I don't know, her people kind of came after me a little bit. Uh, I can't remember what they said. I can't remember what she said either. I can, honestly, can I read it to y'all? Nah, I ain't gonna read it to y'all. Uh, but she basically uh, said that it was her honest review. She was a customer because she bought the course or whatever, but so what? So what? Like, criticize her to her. You know she gonna see the video and wonder, well, why did she make a video about it? Why she couldn't just tell me? Like, DM me something, message me, whatever. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think about that. I just thought that was so wrong. I would have never done that to anybody. You know, even though we're not like, quote unquote friends, but still, we watch each other's stuff. I'm not going to sit up here and bad talk your business when I could have just told you. I, I could, I, mm-mm, mm-mm. And I really like this girl. I like her. I like her content. Um, She's really gorgeous Um, and smart. You know, she has her own business. She's, you know, she's in the, uh, she's building a house right now. She travels. It's just, you know, she's interesting to watch. But when I seen that, I was like, ugh, that's how you are? Girl, we could never, <laughs> never be friends. Like, not saying that she would ever want to be my friend because she don't even know who I am. But I just... <laughs> I thought that was so messed up. It was like in bold. Like, girl, you know y'all follow each other. You know she gonna see this. And uh, of course she saw it, DM'd her, and told her how messed up that was. She made another video, okay? And let us know that the girl saw the video and, and, and she was just like, well, I didn't say your name. Like, that was gonna make it better. Like, what, girl? Ugh. Annoying. Just annoying. Like, <laughs> I couldn't believe. Maybe because she's a little, I don't know. She's not that freaking young. <laughs> she's in her 30s, I do believe. Like, honestly, like, you should know better than that. You should know better than that. I'm just thinking about that. Like, I wouldn't have even done that to somebody that I didn't know. I I don't know. I just wouldn't have. Even if I wasn't satisfied. Even if I low-key thought it was a scam. I just, mm, mm I don't know. Maybe, and I was thinking, well, she is a content creator. Maybe this is just how she do. You know, because that is how some people do. They're content creators and they blame everything on content creation. I'm a content creator. So the fuck what? So what? You didn't have to do that. You didn't. You didn't have to do that. Like straight up. But yeah, like I said, some content creators are, you know, if they go through anything, they're putting it on the internet. They're making a video. It's not necessary to make a video about everything just because you're a content creator. Like, girl. Y'all yeah, want another piece of chicken. <laughs> this is delicious. Oh my God, and I only made seven pieces. Yum. Mmm. I'm thinking that I probably could have another piece. Because they probably ain't going to eat. Y'all. Yeah. So, yes, honey. I got three bottles of that keto-friendly wine. They sit right over there. They was delivered this morning. Yes, girls. So I'm going to be ready, mother flipping Freddy. Um, the ones I got, I believe they have like 13% alcohol. Y'all, and it's just, it's, it's called Fit. Oh, my God. What is it called? Fit wine or Fit? 
Not Fit Fine. It's called Fit Wine, I do believe. Um, should I show y'all? I was gonna save it for for the live. Um, but yeah, y'all. Oh, and I got I saw the Minute Made uh, Zero Sugar Juice, but I got the oh my god, what was the name of that juice? Tropicana, I do believe Tropicana Zero Sugar because Tropicana Zero Sugar juices had less carbs. Yeah, less carbs. So that's what I got. And my store didn't have the flavor that um, um, the young lady was talking about. That she that she said it was so good. They didn't have that flavor. I think they just had like lemonade or something like that. Mmm. So I'm so excited to try all of them. I need to put them in the refrigerator. Well, not the wine. I need to put the juice in the refrigerator. But we ain't got no room in these damn refrigerators down here, y'all. We got two refrigerators down here with no room in them. Mm. No room. You know what? I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to get another piece of chicken. I had three. Even though it's just chicken. Yeah. It's good for me. <laughs> I could have another piece if I wanted to. But I am satisfied, though. I must say that. Anyway, what y'all think about that? Would y'all have done something like that to somebody that you support on the internet? Let's just say you supported them on the internet. Would you have made a video about them knowing that they was going to see it? Like, I just thought, I, that was just so rude and bold. And then call her, her classes a scam. Us, I low-key thought it was a scam. It is a scam. I didn't learn anything. And all is here. Like, girl. Oh, my God. Well, then help her out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody would, would probably think like that, though, to, to help her out. Because what? You said that you've already written a, um a ebook. That's so amazing that you think it's so amazing. But then why could, if she, if you've already written one, why couldn't you give her some advice off the record? Girl, that literally irritated my day. Straight up. Mm. We're going to eat these greens. <laughs> and these tomatoes. They are delicious. Mm. You know how you just be eating your greens because you know it's good for you? Baby, this, this is good. I love arugula. I like arugula better than any other lettuce. It's But it's just really delicate and sometimes you need another type of uh, lettuce, like for certain things, like uh, romaine lettuce, that's, that's like my second favorite. I don't like iceberg lettuce anymore. I used to like it, I used to use it all the time, but I don't like it anymore. <clears throat> I've, I stopped buying it, honestly. I can't remember the last time I bought uh, iceberg. Mm. Anyway, mm. What else are we talking about? Oh, the earthquake in New York. Did I already say something about that? Yeah. Somebody predicted it. Like I said, for it to happen today, it happened. Um, it was certain people that were recording when it happened, y'all. Like, I'm like, wow. It was gamers that was um like on live gaming when it happened. I'm like, wow. It was like a 4.6, I believe, um, magnitude. And so now, you know, they're concerned about, um, you know, the after effects or whatever. Like, don't they have like a body of water that they probably need to worry about? Like, should, could they have a tsunami with it 
being a 4.6 magnitude because 4.6 that's not that bad you know compared to um earthquakes other places you know like 7.9 and stuff like that um but i isn't that the first time that something like that has happened in new york you know, and then I was concerned about like all of the high rises and stuff because you know, like the buildings they be falling down when, um, like the high rise buildings they be falling when, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Earthquakes hit. So, anyway, a lot of people said that they felt it. People in New Jersey say they felt it, people in Connecticut say they felt it. I was like, wow, like. Is this the first time that New York and any, you know, any of those places that felt it, is this, isn't this the first time that that's happened? Like on the East Coast like that? I think it is. Because I've never heard of it. Mm. I have never heard of it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, okay, y'all. This is for the people who don't know if it's going to be wherever they are. These are the places. Major cities that will experience totality Listen. during the total solar eclipse. In Dallas, the total solar eclipse begins at 1.40 p.m. and will last for over three minutes. Little Rock will happen at 1.51 p.m. and last for about two and a half minutes. In Indianapolis, totality begins at 3.06 p.m. and lasts for three minutes and 46 seconds. Cleveland will take place at 3.13 p.m. and last nearly four minutes. In Buffalo, the total eclipse begins at 3.18 p.m. and lasts three minutes and 45 seconds. And in Montreal, it starts at 3.26 p.m. and lasts for just over one minute. Major cities that will experience totality during the total solar okay. eclipse. Okay, I hope y'all got that. I hope y'all got that. So the closest one to us is Dallas. So hopefully we see it. People are saying that if you've never seen it before, to make sure you're in a place where you can see it because it's like a, a something that you should see. I, just what people are saying. Like it's so amazing, they're saying, to watch. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I plan on it. Um, let's see. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Is this it? Hey, uh, I'll be showing you. No, that's not it. Y'all, guess what I learned how to do on TikTok? Make butter. Make butter and um, mozzarella cheese. So, <laughs> yeah, it's coming up, honey. I will be making both. I cannot wait because it's so easy, especially the butter. Y'all, I literally can't wait. I'm excited. Monday, April 8th, 2024, North Texas will be in the path of a Listen. total solar eclipse. Weather permitting, here's what you can expect. At 1223, the partial eclipse begins. You won't notice too much of a difference other than it getting a little bit darker. And you may even notice that some shadows on the ground will look crescent shaped. This is all due to the pinhole camera effect. Fine. At 1.40, totality have a takes over. This is when the sun is completely blocked out by the moon. This is the only time you can take your eclipse glasses off and safely look up. Mm. During this time, you could also catch a glimpse of the sun's corona. It'll also look like a sunset is happening, not just to the west, but all around you. It's going to look like twilight. This is also when we're going to expect some animals and plants to notice it looking like nighttime. You may even see some birds fly home. You may notice some spiders taking down their webs, bees going back to Girl, the what? Spiders don't never take down their webs. I've never even heard of that before. Have y'all ever heard of a spider taking it down? Now, I've heard of them putting them up. <laughs> they never take them down. Because they're always left from, like, the night before. They're always left outside. Girl, don't take them down, girl. And plants will start to close. We're also going to see temperature drop. 
on a clear day. What? It I didn't know that. As much as eight degrees in the city. After that, totality ends around 144 in North Texas. We'll see the partial eclipse continue until three, and then after that, yeah. everything goes back to normal. On Monday, Yo. April 8, 2024, North Texas. I can't wait. Um. My goodness. So, you can only take your glasses off <clears throat> when the sun is completely covered by the moon. So, remember that. Just in case you didn't know, girl, you probably already know. I'm pretty sure you do. I am pretty sure you do. What is this? Did y'all see? Yeah, I'm done with, um, like, amusement parks and stuff and riding them old crazy rinky-dink-dink freaking rides that they keep for 30 years and still have people freaking riding on them. You know, they be, uh, <laughs> they be trying to fix them and call themselves fixing them and they don't even be fixed. Anyway, y'all, this footage of this, um, uh, where is this? A new footage emerges of fairground rides falling apart. It is still like circling all fast in the air while pieces of it is falling on the ground. Y'all, I could not believe it. And this is from the Daily Mail UK. Look at this. The pieces is falling on the ground. And they obviously can't even stop the uh the ride they can't stop it that's why these people is freaking screaming i can't even believe this and i seen another one y'all before this one i saw another one of you know, y'all know that ride where it's like a wall this is the best way that i can explain it's like a wall and, it, and there's a row and everybody why is my y'all my camera is uh hold on because it didn't get back in focus what is going on y'all my camera don't never do this hold up we gotta wait until we get back in focus honey um <laughs> hold on let me <laughs> hold on are we back okay girl that was weird um, camera, <laughs> don't you start now. I don't want to get a new one. <laughs> anyway, so before I saw this one, I saw another one. Anyway, um, where you sit, it's like a, a, a thing where you, where it goes like round and round while you're sitting like this. It's like a row of people sitting like this and it like goes round and round like this. Anyway, it was going so fast y'all and they couldn't stop it. I was like, oh man, and I've read, I rode up that ride before at a, at uh, I don't know where this place was or whatever, but I've ridden that ride at a um a fair before, and I was so scared freaking riding it, y'all. But I bet you I ain't never get on another ride at a fairground or y'all know what I'm talking about. Never again, not me. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody got time for them old last rides. None of those rides y'all are new. <laughs> None of them. They hate replacing those freaking rides too. Like even if they're if it, even if they're broken down, like you know they gonna try to get somebody to fix it. They gonna rinky dink that mug, girl. Anyway, those rides are very dangerous. Um, let's see what is this. So that's see. He don't know if what he's saying is true. Somebody say, will America see the worst earthquake in history this year? He's basically, he's trying to say that we're going to see the worst, allegedly, y'all, uh, earthquake we've ever seen this this year. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, anything can freaking happen. Like, everything else is freaking happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, the world got to be over one day. You know, um, horrible things are going to happen, you know, so it might, I don't know though. I 
I don't know. Mm -hmm. He said there's going to be an ellipse during the eclipse. An ellipse can only work with a domed top. If you don't believe me, I'm going to need you to Google it. But an ellipse is focusing frequency off of one part of the dome very lightly as if, if I was here standing beside you and I whispered to you. But we were in this domed area. Whenever I whisper. You know what? I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not though. I'm not in the mood to to listen. Um, but we'll we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Um, they telling people these certain things for a reason to have food and, and all of this stuff. All these, you know, prepare. And you know, they saying it for a reason. Um. Um, I was going to tell y'all something. Oh, y'all. <sighs> the mukbang today. First of all, it, like, I can't, I don't even know how to explain how this even happened. Anyway, I put the video out so late today. So late. So I don't even know if y'all were even able to comment on the video in time enough. Y'all probably thought I wasn't even putting up a video. I don't even know, but um, yeah, the video got put out late today. It was like, dang it, what was it? Four, almost four o'clock? Yeah, I was so upset, y'all. Like, I hate putting my videos out that late, but it was just nothing that I could do. I literally edited the video last night, y'all, and didn't press one of the buttons that I needed to press to freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, like, um, export the video. It, I, I didn't do it. Okay. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but I did not do it. And I caught it today and, um, I, I had to, uh, redo it. Y'all, it was just, it was a lot. So, I'm sorry for having the video out so late. It's not something normal that I would do. So, y'all already know that. Mm. But y'all want to talk about... <laughs> oh, my God. This was just... I couldn't believe that people... Raise your hands if you go get waxed. Okay? I still haven't done it yet. Um, I, I'm just scared, basically. That's why I haven't went and gotten a wax yet. Um, I was supposed to been done it. I just, I don't know. I'm scared. Like, I don't want my skin to come off with the wax. That's what I'm scared of. Because I've heard that that's happened before. And then, they have to go, you know, where the, the thinnest part is and wax that. Girl, I like, ouch, <laughs> freaking ouch. Who does that? Let me know. Anyway, this esthetician was talking about how um, she's been an esthetician, I think she said for 20 years or something like that, and how women be coming in there, how they be coming in there, okay? Now, I was under the impression, like I said, I've never even went and got a wax, but I was under the impression that you're supposed to take a bath before you go. You, like, if you are going to be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with your legs wide open for everybody to see, or for her to see, like, wouldn't you want to be clean? Would, who wants to come from working out to get a wax? Who wants to come from work? To get, unless you brought a little baggie to where you were going to go to the bathroom, you know, at the facility. Because I'm pretty sure they have a facility where you can get, you know, get cleaned up. Um, But just to go in there and not do anything and then have the esthetician discover disgusting things about you. And then she said... This lady says she has repeat offenders. That means the same person that she had a problem with not being clean. She came again and again and again the same way. And let me tell y'all what this lady said. She said 
that there are people out there that don't wipe themselves in the back, y'all. They don't, women that don't wipe themselves. She says she's found balled up tissue back, like, how? How, girl, how? I would think a man would do something like crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not women. I just feel like we're we're too clean for that. Um, but yeah, she says she sees it all the time. And then, and I know people probably can't help this, but uh, when they're on the table, uh, like they might chat while the procedure is going on while she, and I'm like, it makes you do that? Does it? Y'all let me know. But I mean, I know it does because she says that it does. Um, but I'm talking about, forget that part because probably, you know, people probably can't help that. It's probably like a reaction to the pain possibly. I don't know. But going in there and saying, I'm ready. And the lady happened to tell you, um, I'm going to need you to take this, this, and this and go and wipe from the front to the back or however they tell you to clean yourself. How embarrassing. She said she had to tell this one woman to go and clean herself, right? And then she came back and said, I'm ready. And the lady looked and was like, uh, no, you're not ready yet. She had to send her back. Y'all, come on now. That is just, that is out of control. And yeah, the lady literally said, there's people out there that do not wipe themselves after they do a number two. I can't even imagine. Especially, I can't imagine it being a woman. I really just can't. I, like, I don't think that's against anybody's religion. It, at least I haven't heard of that. Um, I... <sighs> My gosh, y'all. Mm-mm, honey. Like, and, and then and it stinks up the whole room. Like, girl, you can't you can't smell it. Like, you you took your clothes off. I'm pretty sure they, you know, you take your clothes off in the bathroom and then you come in there in a robe or something, right? Like, I don't I don't know. Like I said, I've never been. But um, you know, like you you have to open up. Like, you don't smell it. it the the dad on esthetician can girl like I just like people you can smell yourself when it ain't right please oh my god I literally can't I can't girl um what is this Hold on. Um, oh no, I already told y'all about the bird flu. Okay, let's see if y'all were even able to comment. <laughs> let's see. I literally put the video out like a couple hours ago, y'all. I'm scared to look. Okay, 20 of y'all were able to comment. I'll, um, I'll read y'all's comments. <laughs> I will read y'all's comments. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> um, oh, y'all tell me about myself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lady Croft. She says, hey, yummy girl. Hey, girl. I'm embarrassed. I already know. What is you doing posting late? Like I said, I didn't freaking mean it. I'm sorry. I'm usually watching your video about the time you posted today. What? Really? She said, that burrito looks amazing. I love a big burrito that's packed. Girl, I know. Oh, it was so good. It was it was so good, y'all. I can't even explain how good that burrito was. I was, I was so happy. Did y'all see how much I ate? Yeah. Yeah, it was that good. Um, she says, girl, I'm so nervous to go inside Chipotle and order. Why? Why? But I know I'm going to have to because they're going to give me scraps if I order online. Yeah, please do not ever order Chipotle online, girl. I see it too many times when they're making y'all's orders 
and those door those uh uh, uh door dashes come and get it and i'm like y'all are really gonna give that to somebody y'all i just i can't even believe my eyes um so and then it's gonna be a problem she said girl i always use straws whenever i'm drinking out of cans nowadays and at least i can know if there's something inside when i use my straw you right because you definitely would have known something was inside that can if you oh my god I would flip if I saw a dead rodent in my can. Maybe for the live, you can think of some stories you might want to tell us that you haven't told us yet, girl. It ain't nothing uh, <laughs> unless I'm going to be telling y'all all of my business. And, uh, <laughs> girl, um, yeah, when you've been doing this for this long, stories, I done told y'all everything, you know? basically that i wanted y'all to know I, i've told y'all a lot of stories but i I'll, I'll try to think um and she says also sis i'm not sure if i'm a mod anymore i would love to be one okay okay great thank you for saying that because i'm gonna go and i'm gonna mod people whoever say they want to be a mod that i you know approve of uh I'm going to make you a mod. Um, but you know what? I might have to wait until we do the actual live because I still haven't figured out how to make somebody a mod through my um, YouTube uh, studio yet. Maybe I can uh, look some more and try to figure it out. Uh, but anyway, Rose Miles 865 says, Hey, girl, that burrito is bigger than you, okay? Looks delicious. I want a bite. You look great, sis, as always. Thank you so much. How's the family doing today? Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing good. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Um, Love Child 6103 says, peace and blessings. It's cool, yummy. I understand. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't even say anything. But <laughs> but you know I was going to be worried though, right? <laughs> yes, girl. Okay. I was so upset. Um, Shabrell, Shabreller Nun7273 says, What's up, gorgeous yummy bites? Thank you, girl. Everything looks delicious. Uh -huh. Yes, y'all. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Um, Melissa Gatson 4771 says, I want a yummy bite <laughs> plus the drink and be relaxing in that background. Ah, girl, I know that's right. Wouldn't it be amazing if it was, that was for real, for real? Oh my gosh. That beach is just, y'all, I love, y'all might wonder like why I be picking the certain like backgrounds that I pick. I'm about to tell y'all. Um, because, okay, so. That blue, the blue looks so good against my skin tone. It kind of like makes me pop. Just that color. And then just the beach, period. Who wouldn't want to be on the beach? I don't care when it is. If it's in the fall, the winter. What, who wouldn't want to be on a beach? And I want y'all to like you know, envision that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're really freaking there. I just think that it's just nice to look at. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay, so jo Joanna Aguilar, 4961, says, have you made a six-foot burrito for the challenge? Have you made a six For what challenge? For Am I missing something? For what challenge? I didn't know that was a challenge. Let me know about the challenge. Um, page 3332 says, watch Love Island. I saw that on Netflix. I was like, what is this about? I haven't watched it yet, though. So I should watch that. Okay. Okay, girl. Um, I was watching. Um, I just started another season. I think it is season. Is it four or five? Of love is blind y'all um people were being asked to get married today if people was getting their hearts broke and this one guy y'all like i <laughs> y'all know i can never go on a love is blind baby because i gotta see what you look like but this dude i'm not gonna say what it is because y'all 
he picked this girl. Talking about he trusts her more. Like, how could you trust anybody knowing them for nine days? How could you trust anybody? Um, If you had to get to know somebody for nine days, what would be like the most important things that you need to know about them? You know what I'm saying? In order for you to ask them to marry you. Let me know. That's if you could even put yourself... In in something like that. You know what I'm saying? And 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 do that type of show and be for real about it. You know what I'm saying? Um but uh he picked this girl over this other young lady that in my opinion looked so much better, but I know he didn't see them, but still like I was like, oh my God, he is literally making a mistake. And then when he saw her, when I tell you, oh my God, when he saw, when they saw each other, first of all, she was more disappointed than him. And you can just tell, he, she told him that, she, that he looked like a cartoon character. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe she said that. She was, they were just looking at each other like, It, like, no hugging, kissing, none of that. Like, everybody usually does. She was not pleased. At, oh, you could just tell. And it doesn't look like he was pleased either. Like, somebody had asked him, like, um, afterwards, they had said, um, do you still love her after you've seen her or whatever? He's like, yeah, I still love her. You know, I don't know. I was just, I just wasn't buying it. I don't think they're going to get married. And, but I'm still watching and hopefully I'm able to, you know, get through all of the episodes by, you know, tomorrow because I want to see if they get married or not. Like, I'm not even going to fast forward, none of that. I want to watch the entire thing. They're actually um, on a, the vacation right now. So I want to see how all that go. Like, freaking wow. I just, I don't know. I, I have never, I haven't seen anybody react that way to when they seen, you know, one another. You know, most people, they all fake like they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like what they see. Um, I don't know. I couldn't even imagine, y'all, if, like, somebody was just being, like, revealed to me and they opened the freaking door. <laughs> and I don't like what I see. Like, how am I going to act? Am I still going to go and greet them? Or am I just going to stand there like, oh my God. Or if I, do, if I do go and greet them, how am I going to act? Like, let me see you. Like, I, I, girl, I don't even know. I can't even, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Jordan Hayward 2060 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Um, I used to love Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson's show too. I have all three seasons on DVD, girl. You see? <laughs> now I never did that. Wow, you really love them. I did too, though. I did too. They were like the freaking best. I just knew they was gonna stay together. Like I knew it, but I can't remember why they um, divorced. I can't remember. If you remember, let me know in the comments. Uh, B. Bogarty says, good evening, beautiful queen. That homemade burrito looks so delicious. And you look so beautiful in the red outfit. Thank you so much. And your hair looks fabulous. And beautiful queen. Happy Friday to you and your beautiful family. Having a wonderful, blessed weekend. Thanks for the awesome, amazing video. Thanks, sis. Love you. Love you, too. Thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate that. Um... Deborah Cooper 4184 says, hey, yummy, that looks delicious. Hey, girl, thank you. Um, let's see. Rihanna Mimi says, good afternoon, yummy. Hey, girl. Okay, that burrito, though? Now, I would fight you for a bite. Girl, I know you would. LOL, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, sis. You, too. You, too. Uh, Dara R3431 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. That red you have on is giving. Thank you. And that burrito looks delicious. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, Michael Stewart198 says the food looks amazing. Thank you so much, Michael. 
Um, Lily Porter 7100 says, I do my own eyebrows and everything. I just take my time at first. Now, it can be done all in 30 minutes for me. I have a kit for the whole thing. Yummy, please, sis. You can definitely do it yourself, sis, because you already got the hard part out of the way. And you definitely got to have patience. And that's and that's you do because your makeup be on point. Thank you, sis. Um, it's simple. I haven't been in a shop for that in uh, five years. Wow. Yummy. And plus my daughters too. What? We do it ourselves. Get your products and watch a good video on it. Then boom, baby. Girl. Okay. You know. Honestly, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try the um, the Nair first before I do like the wax. I think I want to try the Nair because that is so easy like on my legs. I'm just thinking that I just uh, need to get like a makeup brush and just dab it in there. And then just meticulously like put it, you know what I'm saying, where the hair needs to go. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the Nair. So we're going to see. Um, you know what? I might do it on camera. I, you know what? I think I am going to do it on camera. It needs to be done right now, now, honestly, because that, uh, that razor, the, um, you know, that little razor that you get from the beauty supply store that for some reason, maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe it's dull. I don't know, but it doesn't work that well at getting all the hair and I'm not plucking that, that is not happening. <laughs> plucking hurts. I don't like it at all. Um, Wanda Richardson 3830 says, never had a burrito. What? You ain't never had a burrito? I must say it looks delicious. Girl, it is. Girl, you better have you a burrito. Uh, Courtney Marie's mom says, hey, girl. Hey, sis. Mmm, that burrito looks good. Girl, it was, girl. It was delicious. Uh, LaShawn 1901 says, yummy bites. Hey. Um, Lily Porter 7100 says, yes, sis, happy blessed Friday, National Burrito Day, looks delicious, and you look beautiful as ever, thank you so much, I appreciate that, um, Dika Brathwaite 4250 says, hi, hun, first, thank you for being first, I appreciate you so much, um, Lily Porter 7100 says, hey, yummy, hey, girl, all right, y'all, so that is it. I want to thank everybody who was able to come and um, and comment and interact with the video. You know what I'm saying? So late. <sighs> yeah, y'all. Like, it didn't happen all the time, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it's going to happen. Things happen. Um, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Follow me on the Family Vlog channel. Y'all are obviously following me over there, girl, because the numbers are going up. I appreciate y'all. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all, 10 out of 10 on that Marry Me Chicken. Oh, my God. It was so good. Like, I think this one was better than the last one I made. Like, that was perfection. Like, the season and everything. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up. <laughs> Y'all, anyway, thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.